applause to John McCall. This is his sign for us that he signed. He's one of the most wonderful person that I have encountered in the last few years. And a lot of times I tell John, you are too modest. <laughs> There's a few pieces of paper right here that I'm sure if it's up to him, it's going to be left here. Nobody will ever know what he has accomplished. <laughs> I'm not sure I can read his handwriting, but I'll try because I said, you know what? I'm sorry, but you ought to let people know what you do. This is how they are going to know you. And this is the difference that's going to make between the other candidates. I don't know, maybe you have other good candidates, but you do not have a candidate for city council in the city of Taunton that is even near what John McCall and who John McCall is. Yay. So some of you already know that he works for Able Restoration as a business development manager working with insurance companies to assist people who suffer from the fire, losses, water damages, mold, flood, emergency services, and more and more and more and more and more. And I don't know when he sleeps, actually. <laughs> He's also a member of the Massachusetts VOAD that Paula already had talked about, which is a volunteer organization active in disaster. He has helped so many people. We were blessed to actually assist about 10 houses on April 16, 15, 16, on the April Day of Caring that we called. Um, and he was there. He was just not directing as a developmental manager. He actually rolled up his sleeves and he was there working along with the other guys. He was appointed to the Taunton Redevelopment Authority by the governor of Massachusetts. That's a big deal. You ought to know this. John McCall has helped organize neighborhood crime watches throughout Taunton. So his work did not start this year. This work did not start yesterday. This work did not start 10 years ago. This work has started many, many, many years ago as a concerned citizen in the city of Taunton. You ought to know this. He has worked together uh, with Rusty Watterson from Operations Defibrillator to have an automatic external defibrillators. And if some of you know what that is, that saves lives you're having a problem, a heart problem, a health problem, and if you have an automatic defibrillator, that can save your life. He has placed at the City Council of Aging, City Hall, the DPW, the Department of Public Works, offices, and Taunton High School. He's a member of the Neighborhood Corporation, and he's involved with the Taunton River Festival. He has helped organize the Kids Care Day in Whittington, with the Greater Taunton Charitable Association. There's more. He's a big guy and his heart is even bigger. And he has helped organize an effort to feed the needy families during Thanksgiving as a member of the Greater Taunton Charitable Association for the past six years. So again, he has not started this year, he hasn't started last year. It's been years of accumulated hard work. And they've had 579 people. So I guess he really works fast too. <laughs> He's also a board member of the New Hope, which is a women's fettered shelter. Thank you for caring for women's well-being. <laughs> He's also a board member for the Pro Home for Time Home Buyers program, and we all know how important of a dream that it is. It's the American dream for us to own our own home. Well, he's also in the forefront of that. So today I said, who's John McCall? And I was just sitting in front of my computer just doing my work and all of a sudden a few words just came to mind and it's interesting that five words came to my mind and they all started with C. So I didn't want to be biased and just write whatever I want. So I said, let me go to synonyms.com and see what it has to say. So the first word that came to mind is concerned. And the word concern says something that interests you because it is important or affects you. Don't you think that's John? It is, isn't it? And it's interesting because it also gave me an example. It says, quote unquote, the safety of the ship is the captain's concern. Well, if when he becomes city council, 
he will become city council because it's up to all of us for him to become city council. When you get up and go vote on November 8th, he's going to be the captains, the ship captains. The second word that came to mind is add catalyst. And then it says that it's something that causes an important event to happen. And the example is the invasion acted as a catalyst to unite the country. I think John McCall will be the city council that will actually be the force to unite the city council in this city and to make things happen. The third word that came to mind is caring, and it says that it feel concern or interest, lovingness, caring, he can deal with his crew. You are his crew, and he cares. If he didn't care, he wouldn't be involved in all of those things that I have mentioned, that he doesn't actually toot his own uh, horn, which he should sometimes. So everybody can tell someone how great of a job he does. And you ought, tonight, after you leave, you ought to tell someone about John McCall and what he has done, what he's doing, and what he will do when he becomes city council. <laughs> Next word that came to mind, of the, for the third one is committed. That says devoted, invested, dedicated, confer a trust upon. I think sincerely that I, I do trust and I can trust John McCall. He has show, uh, showed time and time again that he can be trusted. Not with his words, because he's not a man of a lot of words, but with his actions. He does. He speaks less and does more. And I think this is who we need as a politician. The ones who can sometimes take the, the, the back seat and not say much, but you will see him roll up his sleeves and actually work for you. That's John McCall. <laughs> and I'm gonna share the last word, which is compassion. If you really, really know John McCall, you know that he is the meaning of compassion. A deep awareness of others' suffering the human quality of understanding the suffering of others and wanting to do something about it. And I believe Pastor, they just talked about his involvement with the church, his compassion with the needy, his compassion with the type of population that some of us, when we walk down the street, we just cross the street because we don't want to stay too close to them. Well, that's the population that John will actually cross the street towards them to help them. And this is what a good citizen does. that is